Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first about the gameplay. It's real life. It's not really a video game or anything. No Call of Duty today. Gonna be bringing you the commentary over my actual fight, my tournament match, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch it if you haven't already. And you guys are gonna get to hear what I was thinking while going through this and a little bit of stories about what was happening outside of the match. Um, so anyways, as you can see, I noticed that this guy is super duper tall. So I decided to pull guard instead of going for takedowns because his legs were immensely long and all that stuff. Pulled guard, and in addition to, be very, to being very tall, he was also very strong. If you guys want to know the facts, the facts of the matter, the exactly what was going on and all that good stuff, this is a fight in the heavyweight division, uh, 196 pounds. I came in at about 193 uh, with my gi on, so I weigh about 188 um, so I was underweight for the actual category, and as you can see, I was undersized against this opponent. This guy is like 7 feet tall. Okay, I'm just kidding. He's not 7 feet tall. In all honesty, I'm about 6 foot. This guy was probably, he was probably like 6'9", to be honest with you guys. So, really super crazy. I actually looked up all the guys in my division before I went in there to the tournament, and the guy that I looked up this guy's name, okay, and the guy that I found with the jiu-jitsu uniform on in his profile picture was a Mexican guy, okay? He was a normal size looking Mexican guy. And so I got to the tournament, we were warming up in the bullpen or whatever, and I look over, I see this huge, humongous, seven-foot black dude, and he's like warming up like crazy. I'm like, oh my god, dude, whoever goes with him, I, I, you know, good luck to them. Holy crap, that dude's a monster. And uh, I go up there, and they're like, you know, they call my name, I go up, give them my ID and everything, and then they call the name of the guy that I thought I was facing, the Mexican guy that I thought, I look around, and lo and behold, I found the wrong guy, they both had the same name and both trained jujitsu coincidentally, oh, and this is my famous escape right there, in case you guys didn't see that, out the back of Mount, and um, anyways, right here I got a little elbow to the face, and my contact actually ended up falling out during that little transition there, uh, so... That's what I'm about to do right now, about to fix my eyeball. But anyways, this huge dude ended up coming up next to me and I was like, holy crap, that's not the guy that I thought I was going to face. And uh, it was, it was <laughs> man, that is hilarious. And so we ended up going, and to be honest with you guys, I see, like watching the fight over again, it doesn't make me, like normally you can go back and watch what you did and kind of be like, oh, I should have fixed this. I know what I should have did. I, I know what I should have done during the fight. The problem was, uh, this was at about 9 in the morning, and I'm not a morning person first off, and second off, I only slept for about 4 hours a night before I couldn't fall asleep. And when we got in the on the mat, I actually gassed out really, really quickly. You can tell um, I'm pretty tired. I gassed out super quick. The guy, um, props to him too for being as strong as he was and uh, on point with his technique. Uh, it was He was just a really strong guy, and I gassed out immediately. Like As soon as I uh, tried to get my grips in, as soon as I tried to grab him, I could feel that I had no strength. You know when you get up in the so early in the morning you have no strength or maybe you know when you're playing a basketball game and at the end of the game you can't even lift your arms to shoot the ball or something? That's how I felt like within the first minute and I was like no 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 I, I just gassed out really soon you guys and um yeah it just sucks because all the strength that I normally have normally I'm probably one of the stronger guys uh, at my academy everybody always compliments me blah 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 plus I, I you know I do know that I'm a relatively strong guy. And uh, I just didn't have any strength to go with this guy. But, you know, props to him for taking advantage of that and uh, winning. He's good. He's good jujitsu guy. And uh, right now I shoot him for a takedown. Boom. Get it. His legs are so long, though. And he ends up picking up me up by my leg and <laughs> bringing me uh, to the ground a little bit. But I end up pulling half guard here. And to be honest with you guys, I was the only one. You can see from this that I was the guy initiating the takedowns. I was the one going for it. But... I did not have the strength once, like, I didn't have the strength to keep shooting in on him. I just did not have the strength to do it. I was gassed out in the first round, which sucks because normally my cardio is pretty good. It's just that first, like, couple hours when I wake up, that first two hours when I get up, I literally, I just, I'm still waking up. Like, two hours after this match, I was awake. And, like, because I, I literally woke up, I went straight down there. Woke up, put on my clothes, went down there. And, uh, man, now I know for sure in the future what I'm going to do is if I have a fight that early in the morning, I'm going to either deprive myself of sleep the night before the night of the fight. That way, the night of the fight, I can fall asleep at, like, 6 p.m. and wake up at, like, 3 in the morning and just be up for hours before the fight. Um, I'm going to have to do that. Or I'm going to have to just try to get my matches to be uh, more in the, the afternoon time or something. 
And so, anyways, I know all the techniques to get out of these things. Normally, I'm very good at defense, but I was honestly so exhausted. And at this point, what he was doing, he was attempting to uh, choke me. Uh, but little did he know I'm actually invincible to chokes. And see, I just did not have the strength to turn into him. And that's the thing that makes me the most upset is that I didn't perform like I should have because of the fact that I gassed out so quickly. Um, I was exhausted in the morning. I just couldn't get my breathing right. If you guys didn't know, I have asthma. And I wonder if that plays a part in uh, how I feel in the mornings. Um, my asthma is not bad anymore, but I, I wonder if in the mornings maybe that's what plays a part. I'm not really entirely sure. My asthma kicks in every once in a while. Um, but doesn't really matter. All that I have to say is he fought a good fight, and I wish that I hadn't gassed out so soon. He's going for a choke here. He's in mount, and I obviously, you guys, I escaped the mount earlier, but I did not have the energy or the strength to escape again. I'm going to try right now, and uh, I end up not being able to do it again. I just did not have the strength in me, and uh, it, it, was, it was a good, I think that it was a good, exciting match. Regardless, um, even though I was sluggish out there, it was a good match. He did really good, and... Uh, I don't know, props to him, man. He was He's a very athletic guy, very in shape, and the dude had to be at least 6'8", six 6'9", six so he was a monster, and uh, you know what? Props to me, dude. Anyway, I went out there, I tried, and uh, I wish that the tournament was later on, but anyways, here he's got my arm. I tried one escape. I didn't have the energy to do it, and when he snaps my arm back, I try for the uh, walk around escape. Couldn't get it, just did not have the energy, and then I lay there. This is me right there and you know what you guys I hope that you guys still support me in the face of defeat I hope that you guys will support the fact that I got that out there and I, I did it you know what I mean that's more than a lot of people can say and uh, let's try to get this up to 250 likes that would mean a ton to me and remember you guys even in the face of defeat you can still learn a ton if you make use of it and you don't you know just disregard everything that happened you gotta make use of it and uh, yeah always good sportsmanship give the guy a hug and all that great stuff hopefully I'm gonna be bringing you guys a lot more of these types of videos let me know if you like them and uh, yeah leave some supportive stuff I love you guys very much you guys are beautiful I'm over it and out you know you know what it is you know